In this video, we're going to continue talking about relational math, things you can do with tables when querying and for the database with SQL. And here we're going to focus on unions, intersections, and set differences. And so basically we're going to take sort of two queries, the results of two queries, and treat them as sets and do some basic set operations of union, intersections, difference. Um, one thing that will come up is that uh, SQL is not supported equally in, in all different types of databases. And so um, while SQL as a language has these things, um, I was working when I was developing this originally with Access and it didn't support all these things at the time. And so I was getting some of these operations sort of as join. So I'm going to talk about them uh, as uh, in this context and they all exist and are of similar things, but the intersections and set difference I'm going to be realizing as joins. Okay. All right. So we're going to, we want to do some set theory. We want to, um, we want to have, but we have to have sets that are combinable in this sort of union intersection way. And so the first, and so we'll, our main one will be the union. And so uh, the first thing we have to do is set up and get these, these, these sets that we're going to work with to be what we call union compatible. So we're getting uh, sort of, we're sort of combining two queries. That's our idea of relational algebra. We're combining two relations, two tables. So we've done some query and gotten a, uh, gotten a table, gotten a relation, and done another query and gotten another relation. And now we are combining those two as sets as a union. And when we do a query, we have uh, rows and columns. And to be union compatible, we must have... Um, the same like sorts of records. So so our columns uh, have to be sort of similar in that um, the order will matter, but the type will matter. Um, so we want uh, to have the same type fields in the same order. So, you know, it will matter, you know, I can't have text, I can't have strings, I can't have text fields and union them with like a uh, number of fields or date fields or something like that. So I want to make something union compatible. I should have the same number of columns. I should have the same type of columns. I should have the same order of columns. And once I have that, then the two queries are then union compatible. And then I can start to do these set operations on them. Okay, so here's my example database here. And again, it was an access at the time. So I had uh, the idea of the Simpsons cartoon. So um, we had Simpson characters and those characters were voiced by, by voice actors. So real person is a person in the real world who provides the voice of a character. And then those characters were in episodes and character in episode, that was a many to many relationship. So there was a character appeared in many episodes and episode had many characters. So there was this bridge table. And so that's that episode features or something that you see there. But the, uh, the character to real person was a one to many relationship. At least we assumed it was that uh, the character was voiced by one person. Simpsons has been around for a long time, so that may not may no longer be true, but that was our sort of assumption at the time. And then we had um, some list of credentials of things that these actors did. And uh, so we said each credential was uh, belonged to a particular person, you know, won an award or something, who knows, or appeared in some other movie. Okay, so here we go. So that's our Simpsons database. And so one thing uh, that is common to both the character table and the real person table is that it 
and that they both had fields or columns, attributes, properties of like first name and last name. So again, we want to make it union compatible. So the first thing we're going to do is query sort of the character table and get the first name and last name and query the real person table and get the first name and the last name. And then we will have sets which are union compatible and then we can get make the union of those tables. So uh, down there at that bottom line there, we have that pie, that's projection. So we are pulling out particular columns, the first name and last name from character. And then we have another pie. So we are projecting out of the a real person table, the first name and the last name. They're both, so it's two columns and they are both text or strings. So, uh, or Varkar. Um, so they are union compatible. And then that U in the middle is the symbol for union them. And so we will get a list of all of the uh, first name and last names of characters and all the first name and last name of real people who voice those characters. And um, there are, are situations, episodes of The Simpsons where one of the characters in The Simpsons is a person from the real world and is voiced by that person in the real world. So um, if there are duplications of, of character where a character is playing themselves in The Simpsons universe, then that name will appear in both lists and in a normal union you won't have that duplication okay so here are the two individual queries that we are doing here are the list of simpson characters so we see you know homer simpson marge simpson bart simpson and so on but we also see at the top there ernest borgnine and so he was uh he's, he was an actor and he is like playing himself in an episode. So he was, he's a real person, but he's also a character. And then we have uh, in the, the second query over on the right, we have, we query the real person database. And so we also see down near the bottom there, Ernest Borgnine again. So we're going to union those, or we're going to get a list of all the characters and all the real people, but Ernest Borgnine and anybody like that uh, should appear once. Okay, so here we are, we made a, a union. And so here is the result of that union with the list and uh, somewhere in that list. Uh, we see real people like Penny Marshall, we see Simpson characters like Homer Simpson, so we are making this uh, combine, combine list, okay. And so here it is. Now, one thing to note about Access, Access has this uh, way of making queries called query by example, but uh, the, the query by example usually sort of works with or assumes some kind of join, and we're not doing a join, we are doing a union. So we're stuck moreover in the uh, type out the SQL statement. So we have our two queries, select first name, last name from character and select first name, last name from real person. Make sure we get rid of uh, the semicolon after the first query because we only want, this is going to be a combined query and we only want the semicolon at the end. And then we stick in the keyword union. Um, SQL tends not to be case sensitive, but it is sort of standard when displaying a SQL statement to to capitalize the the keywords that are like select or are SQL uh, keywords. So like select from union, those are all. I missed the from uh, down on the bottom one from the real person, but so that's just proving the point that it is not case sensitive, but it um, is standard just to make a distinction between things that are from the SQL language and things that are particular to the database, uh, they often capitalize the SQL keywords. Not necessary, but uh, but a nice addition that most people do. Okay. So there was no uh, query by example. There was no simple design way to make this 
um, because when you when you do have query by design in access, it's assuming joins. So you have to work a little harder if you want a union. But union is supported, is a standard SQL, and is supported in Access's uh, version of SQL. And so, you, but you need to work in the in the query window where you're where you're explicitly writing the SQL. Okay. And, and so there, there it is in a list of SQL. And then after we've uh, defined it and put in the keyword union, they, they then SQL knows. So when I, here I have a list of uh, queries and it's showing me that it knows that that query is a union query, not just because I named it union of names, but that little symbol of the circles says that, uh, you know, it's the recognition of by access that this is a a union query. Okay, there is can be supported in SQL uh, this thing called union all, and then it will sort of add in duplicate records. So we said when a character was voicing themselves when they appeared in both lists, uh, a standard union would only show them once. Um, but if you for some reason wanted them to appear twice uh that's a possibility by saying union all I, I find that usually weird you usually don't like duplications in databases or in database results but um uh it's uh possible to get out if you wanted it okay in some sense the opposite idea of the union where you're bringing everything together uh is the intersection where you are only picking out uh, the things that are on both lists. So the union is combining it, making it bigger, giving you everything from both lists. Intersection is telling you, he only, I only want the things that appear in both lists. And that is an intersection. So again, it has to be, we call it union compatible, even though we're making an intersection. So we need to project out the first name and last name of the character table and project out the first name and the last name of the real person table. It's then union compatible, but we're going to make an intersection. And here, uh, again, it was showing my examples in access. And access as SQL, at least at the time, did not support an intersection in its SQL, but the intersection could be made uh, by, by a join, which is the more standard kind of querying that access uh, expects. And so I'll show you, I think I'm going to show you two ways to make an intersection from a, from a join. Okay, so I want uh, the people, the more people in the Simpsons, I didn't put in all the data, but more people played themselves. But my examples were Ernest Borgnine and James Brown, uh, who played themselves in Simpson ep episodes. And so here's the result of my uh, intersection query, but I'm not getting it through a SQL intersection. I'm getting it through a join. That's what I'm going to show you next. Okay. So I started off with a uh, query by design and I grabbed the character table and the real person table. And so it assumes I'm going to do what's called a natural join because these two tables, uh, the real, the person ID in the, is the ID is the uh, primary key and the real person table and person ID is a foreign key over in the character table. And so what access assumes I want to do is a natural join to say, I am looking for characters and the people who voice them but that's not what i want so i have to sort of uh, break it and make it the way i want it so i that line was connecting person id from one to the other and i had to get rid of that some kind of like right click and delete remove what have you and then make the actual relationship i want so in in query by design that's dragging so i can drag from first name on character to first name, real person, and the same for last name. And so I'm asking, I'm doing a join query, and in a join, you want two things that are to be, uh, you want some 
equal when two things to be equal, but instead of the natural join of relating person ID to person ID, I'm asking for first names to be the same and the last names to be the same. And then that's going to give me an intersection only if the first name and the last name and the character match the first name and the last name of the real person, am I going to keep that record? And that will give me the equivalent of an intersection. So here it is. Um, so again, it wasn't supported. Just the word intersect was not supported. It is part of standard uh, of, of SQL, but not all databases uh, implement SQL uh, the same. So here I have a select first name and last name from the character table. Um, and so that those are the fields I want, the character first name and the last name. And then I'm going from real person inner join on character. So I'm combining these two tables by a join. It's not going to be a natural join, but it's still going to be a join. So my two tables are real real person and character. And then in this notation uh, for join, you can say inner join. Inner join means I'm only going to give you the things that match. And I'm going to, and then match on what, what are my criteria? What are my predicates? What are my conditions? I want the first real person first name to equal the character first name and a Boolean, I want both of these things to be true and the real person last name to be the character last name. And so that's a way to get the intersection. And uh, I'm gonna show you another way to get the intersection. Um, and that is through a uh, criterion um, known as a subquery. So I can we have the idea of a where clause, of a criteria, of a condition, of a predicate, and that uh, that condition can come itself from a another query, and then that that query can be called a subquery. So I do a query, and then I turn that query into my into a condition, and so then I'm having a query in which it has a condition that is related to another query. So this is the idea of a subquery. I'm also going to use concatenation. So instead of talking about the first name and the last name as two separate things, I'm going to what we call concatenate. I'm going to put them uh, together and make them one big long thing. Okay, so how do I do this? Let's look to the the subquery first. So that's going to appear. Uh, you see down there in the third row, there is a where, and then uh, at toward the end of that line, third line, it says select. So we're starting another query there, or that's the start of the subquery. So that in the third line over on the right, it says select real person dot first name. Um, that ampersand is my concatenating, my squeezing together the first name and the last name of the real person. So I'm selecting the first name and concatenating it to the last name from real person. So that is just a query. That's just a projection, pulling out the first name and the last name from the real person table. Okay. And now that's in the where clause of a different query. So what's that different query? I'm saying select the first name and the last name of character. Of course, I'm pulling them from character. And then I'm asking for the concatenated. So here's my third, back to my third line, my where uh, I have the character first name ampersand. I'm concatenating the character first name and the last name. And I'm looking for it to be in. So I do my real person query. I come up with my list. And I'm not looking for a specific the first name and last name being equal to something, but I'm asking for the first name and the last name being in some list. So I made a list from selecting from the real table, and then I'm looking for characters that uh, are in that list. So that is uh, another way to realize an intersection um, here in, in uh, Access's version of SQL didn't, didn't have an intersect. So we just did it, we did it in, as uh, 
a join and we did it here as a subquery. So two ways to get it done, even if we don't have the word intersect uh, in an access uh, version of uh, SQL. Okay. One last standard set uh, action that we do is the difference. So we can say, tell me that instead of finding of the things that are in both in A and B, we can eliminate from A the things that A and B have in common. Okay. So I can say here in my Simpsons example, um, then if I'm taking the set difference, I'm going to start with the Simpson characters, but I'm going to uh, do a set difference with the the real person. And then I'm taking out those people who played themselves. So I'm eliminating them. Before I was trying to capture them, now I'm trying to eliminate them. So that's the difference between intersection and set difference. Um, they're very similar, but one you're keeping only the, the common stuff and the other time you're getting rid of the common stuff. And so notationally, that's uh, a pie of rejection to make them, again, we call it union compatible, even though we're doing a set difference, but we're doing a projection. We're pulling the first name and last name from character, we're pulling the first name and last name from real person. And then we are, it's a minus sign. We are taking the, the difference. We're going to get rid of the, the common stuff. And so here are my list, and now you see it's all the characters, the Simpsons, um, but those characters who played themselves, Ernest Borgnine and James Brown in my case, are now missing because I've eliminated them using the set difference. Okay. And so uh, I'm doing this, I'm taking that, that second version of the intersect and just in sort of inverting inverting my condition. So my condition used to be uh, that the first name and last name concatenated together were in some select. And now I'm just saying that they're not in some select. So they are, I'm going to do the query of the real, real first name, real last name from the real people, real person, and get that list. And then I'm asking that the characters not be found in that list. And so those are the characters that are not also real people. And so all, all I did to get from intersection to set difference in this version of writing it was I added that word not. So on that third line with the where you see in there, not in, and that gave me the set difference. And that's the end of that one. So we still have to talk about uh, in more detail joins, but we've done selection and projection and union and intersection and set difference. So a lot of uh, querying so far.